Hey, and welcome to a Chicago Beer Pass beer review. And we are doubling down. Double too hearty. Nick, you picked this up. I didn't know this was a thing. Man, uh, you and me both, man. I didn't know it existed. We all know too hearty to be, um, you know. One of the best. Dude, I think if, if I was having a party and we ha only had one beer at said party, right? It, it might very well be too hard from, over, from Bells. Over Bo Dam? Over Bo Dam, the soundtrack of the summer. <laughs> it's too young. Too young. Too, too, too hard has been doing this thing for years. You know, it's something you can believe in year after year. We believe we, we believed in Bo Dam. The Bo Dam. <laughs> <laughs> we believed in Bo Dam this summer. But um Can it do it again next can it, year? Can it do it again next year? <laughs> you know? And you know, Bells, man, they stick to the script like They've never changed. I mean, they might have tweaked it, but it's the same two fish on this can, on this bottle. They got a deal and print it like a lifetime <laughs> for like a penny. And they're like, I don't know. I guess that's what we got. Yeah. Um, back at the old studio, that I knew that uh, because it was walking distance from French Market. Okay. And I knew French Market would always have uh, two beers. One was Half Acres uh, Dark Ale. That black that uh, that black hoppy ale that they come out with, okay, lead feather, mm -hmm. and then the other one was uh, bells too hard. Too so every Tuesday it was me and too hard at hanging out in the park till five o'clock started. Nice, okay. Yeah. So. But that so double too hard it it's eleven percent. Holy fuck! Right? Yeah. What's what's regular too hard? <laughs> it's like seven, right? I guess they're like taking the double to like true form here. Yeah, this is a big beer. Um, it says shelf life three months on here, so that's interesting. Then, yeah, um, bells, man. I haven't had a double IPA because this is a double IPA. Yeah, and, uh, two hearted is an IPA. Uh, double, man. It just smells like sweet honey. Maybe a little like toasty. A little bit like, uh, yeah, like orange marmalade or something. Yeah. Mm, that's a good one, yeah. Mm, some sort of jam. All right. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Whew. That is sweet. Yeah. Oddly enough, the um, the booze is kind of kept in, kept in check. Like, it's not overly boozy. No, I think the... The sweet level, like, kind of counteracts the booze. Mm -hmm. Like, I just get so much sugar. Yeah. Like, it's kind of. It's reminiscent of um. those early dogfish, like, 120. Right, moments yeah. Moments where it's kind of, yeah, it's it's like a, uh, it's like it's like a fortified wine almost, right? Like a, right. Like a blonde sherry or something, right? Like. Like it's not like something you crush. Yeah, it it kind of blurs the line between like you know, Ooh. beer and cocktail, really, right? A little bit. I feel like I should have some ice. Need like a little orange peel in here. This is a sipper. This is kind of like the beginning stages of like fucking cognac. This is like cognac before they put it in the barrels, kind of. Yeah, because what is 120 minutes? Is that 12 percent or is it 13 percent? That's a good question. I don't remember. It's it might even be higher than that. Kind of feels like that. A little yeah, bit. and that this is good, and it's fun to try. I'm glad we're sharing a bottle here. Yeah, it's it's very bold. It probably yeah. comes in six packs too, right? It does come in six packs. Yeah. Yeah, they're think, there trying to. They're like here. I think what's the uh, hop? Not hop juice. Is it hop juice? Uh, hop slam. Hop slam comes hop in like six packs. Yeah, that's an, that's another bells item. And that's thirteen percent. It's like it's over ten. It's definitely like, over ten. When you like, cut it out. No, it. no. Some people, <laughs> hop slams a winter IPA, you know, yeah. and you know that it's, one's like the it's fucking twenty degrees out, bro. Right, hop slam should be coming out, right? It's coming up, yeah. Hop slams into the year. Because it's the hop harvest right now, right? Uh, yeah, Oktoberfest. You're thinking, yeah, uh, not Oktoberfest. Uh, harvest sales. Harvest sales those, should be out. Those and, are my favorite fall beers. And then hop juice should be right here. Hop slam. Hop slam. Yeah. Hop juice too, right? <laughs> oh, it's yeah. not called hop juice anymore. Yeah, did they? Yeah, they got sued or something. It's called like fresh juice. Or what something? is it called? I don't know. It used to be called hop juice. Great label on that one. Yeah. Man, 
two brothers did just follow us on Instagram too, so we nice. probably should get this right. Dose Bros, hello. <laughs> I love your jam, dude. When I they, love, dude. They, I love your band. When they used to be Dose Bros, <laughs> that's how you know you've been drinking two brothers too long. When you know they were Dose Bros on Twitter. <laughs> I know this is a beer that will kick your ass, but has everything like you you want from like non stout. Like stouts are like big and sweet and syrupy, but you kind of miss that hop beer juice. Yeah, and this is definitely like an American double IPA. Yeah, it's not hazy. It's not it's not cute. It's not fruity. This is in your face malt malt forward Midwest IPA right here. Yeah. This, this is a lot to handle. This is what you get when you want to be overwhelmed and you have moments like that. We all do. Um, yeah. This is a sipper, too. This is like, a, you know, this is kind of an after-dinner thing. Mm-hmm. Or this is like, hey, it's been a long day at work and we're going to go out, but let's have a proper beverage. Right. This is that. Or this is the beer that you've had after the beer fest. You're like, I need more beer. Give me that 11%. And yeah. you're like, keep going. It's a knockout blow. And you're like, yeah. I regret everything. <laughs> I, will ne- I will never drink again. <laughs> ah, Yeah, that was me at uh, Moose Knuckle at uh, Peace. Uh, uh, live, okay. ca- live band karaoke. Yeah. I think you, I think you roll three of these and it'll be, um, it'll be live karaoke. I'll never drink again tonight. Somewhere, yeah. That's, uh, that's me with three glug slushies. <laughs> So this is an that chorus story. It's an update on an American classic. The word classic's overused, but I don't know, man. There's very few beers that, that touch <laughs> the historic significance of Two Hearted. Yeah. Yeah. Just... Uh, I would rather have regular Two Hearted than the yeah than the double Two Hearted, but still definitely fun to try. Yeah. Yeah. So kudos to them because they're not the crew that's coming out with you know. They're not hitting you pipework style with like sixty different beers this year. You know they 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 embrace seasonal returns, and that's pretty much what they're hitting you with. with but they do have that uh, that like kind of haze beer called Official. Yeah, Official, and then it's there's not um, bad. It's like it's it's fine. I don't know. It's not. Yeah, it's decent. Like you know, if you're in the outskirts of some town, you know that's something you can trust. You yeah. Know? Um, and then there's uh. The Oracle, which is the double IPA and the off season where Hop Slam is not around. Mm-hmm. And then they came out with one over the last winter that had a Polaroid uh, cameras on each bottle cap. Oh, I think that's it was right. might have been called Snapshot or something. And that was great. That was something. I think I went to the store like three nights in a row to get that. And there's beer. the Oarsman. And then there's Oarsman, which we had. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bell's, uh, Bell's Best Brown. I think, uh, you know who we talked to? We didn't talk to him, but Greg Hall mentioned when um, I think. There was a Tribune article that talked about, you know, the most important beers in the Midwest or something of all time. And one of his responses to that, I think, in person was they should have put Bell's Best Brown on that. Because these are the kind of beers that kind of laid the groundwork for what you see now. Yeah. You know, you know, some like, yeah, because some breweries can't make the same beer. Mm -hmm. And that's fucked up to say, but some people can't make the same beer all year. Right. And (laughs) brown ales, you know, can be boring. We were talking with Shalanda on the last beer review yeah. we're drinking uh we're drinking a porter no we no drink, we drank uh damien hey, yeah damien and i think what she hates about porters you might think are brown ales <clears throat> brown ales can be boring but when they're bells does it right they're delicious they pair with food you don't have to think about them mm-hmm. they fit just about any time and place you know um there's there's something to be said about that and then you can have them you can have them on the shelf. You can have them in the fridge for a while and not worry about them. But they're boring. They are boring. They are the very simple one note. Yeah. yeah. That, that's also true. Yeah. yeah. So. I don't know. Bells. <laughs> it's fine. I feel like we visit Bells about once a year. Maybe twice. Yeah. But yeah. Good Good to see what they're up to. And they're up to the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I'm, I'm okay with that. It's like to check into your like uh, favorite bar or restaurant. Like, all right, you guys are still here and you still kick ass. Cool. I'll be back next year. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. There's some places you like to hit once or twice a year. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. I'll do it. Take care. Cheers.